you knew that this team, after the way you guys beat them yesterday, were going to come out hungry, and they pushed, put, had a pretty good effort to start the first period. What did you see to start the game? Certainly, uh, they're a good hockey team. They're in uh, first for a reason in uh, their division, but uh, we weathered the storm, and then from there we started getting to our game. We had a couple good possession shifts in the second, and uh, yeah, it was a great, uh, great win overall, and we kept fighting and didn't give up. Going back to that first period, I mean, your PK, they you held them, you were seven for seven yesterday. You guys kill off a two minors and a major in the first period. Just how significant, how much energy do you guys get from that being successful on the penalty go? Oh, it's huge. Uh, you know, anytime you can go a five minute straight penalty and uh, kill that off, that's, that's huge for momentum. And obviously, that uh, frustrates them a little bit. Those skill guys uh, start gripping the stick a little tighter and start, uh, you know, getting a little upset with that. So, uh, whenever you got a five minute penalty, you expect to score at least one. But uh, yeah, we did a great job killing it, and uh, Burden played a great game, and I thought uh, defensively we were pretty sound, and you know that's why we got the win. And what allowed you guys to really get that pushback? Because it really seemed like you turned the tables in that second period and started to kind of push the, the game and kind of dominate the game the way the mo we've used, we're used to seeing the Moose play. Yeah, uh, you know, we knew we had to take it to them a little bit to create our offense and uh, to score. So, I mean, at one point I looked up at the shot clock and they were, you know, they were heavily favored in shots. But I thought, uh, yeah, we started uh, building a game and generating offense as the game went on. And, you know, we figured out how to beat them and how to play down low with the puck and uh, maintain possession that way. And then, uh, yeah, we were able to get a timely goal there at the end. Listen, this is not a team that you see a lot, you know, obviously because they're a Pacific Division team. But it seemed like it was the atmosphere, at least, was... Uh, was a big game. Like it seemed like it was almost a playoff type atmosphere. Is that what you felt like on the ice? Certainly. Uh, you know, with that was our sixth uh, last game, so you know we're fighting for that spot, and you know everyone knows that, and everyone sees that. So uh, yeah, it's not. You know, we're not changing our game in any way. We're just, you know, we're playing, we're playing desperate hockey, and that's uh, that's what makes teams successful this time of year. And uh, you know, every point's big, and it was huge for us to get the, uh, all the points we could this weekend. You guys are on. Probably one of the most historic runs I've seen here at Ballantia's Place. 18-2, one and one in your last 22 games. What's it like playing playing as successfully as you have been at home, and especially in front of a nice sized crowd tonight? Yeah, it's great. Uh, you know, this crowd is we're able to feed off of them, and uh, you know, as they they can get us into the game, and we can get them into the game, so it works both ways. But I think uh, you know we have confidence on home ice, and last change certainly helps. You get all those matchups we want, and uh, we're able to just run with it. And you know, we have we have a ton of confidence when we come back here and play in this building. So yeah, we're going to look to you know do that this weekend. What did you see on your game-winning goal? Uh, you know, heavy played on low by Vessi and Shazi. Uh, shot took a puck to the net, and I was just able there to clean it up. Uh, Started off the game with Marco Dano playing wing, and then as the game went on, Veselina moved on to your line, and it seemed like you got more and more involved as the game went on. What is it that makes him successful when he's having a strong game like that? Uh, yeah, you know, first off, tough play with uh, Marco. I thought uh, just a case of a guy being stronger. But, uh, yeah, I thought uh, Mishazi and Vesey played well. I think, you know, we're three guys that are, you know, pretty big guys, and uh, we're strong on the puck, and, you know, we can make plays down low, and we can make plays all over the ice. So I think uh, you saw that some uh, glimpse in the second and uh, some in the third as well, and, you know, to get a goal like that for our line, that was big. i got one more for you. I'm going to throw back to, I think we talked about it way back in November, you have a propensity for scoring game-winning goals. So what's it like to score game-winning goals uh, in the AHL here? It feels great every time. Uh, you know, you pride yourself on those those important goals, those big, those big game-winning goals, and, uh, you know, I'm the type of player that, you know, likes to, you know, be the best when uh, the stage is the biggest. So, uh, yeah, it was great to get that goal.